Hey, it's Two Siders. Welcome to the second episode of Theme Park, where we try to create parks based on a theme. In this episode, we will try to get all four horses from Viva Piñata. Are we up for the challenge? No, probably not. We begin by clearing out the base garden. Now, as per the rules of the challenge, I cannot deliver the horses from the Huntress and I cannot deliver them from different gardens. We have to get them naturally as residents in our garden. Now, Professor Pester was a pain in the ass the last time, but this time around we have not one, but two different ways to get rid of him. Get him, boy! For many of the horses to appear, you need to have a bunch of grass, so I'm spreading my seed all over the entire garden. Nice and green. Just as God intended the iPhone sick emoji. We are going to create a vegetable garden because we will need a bunch of carrots. And initially I didn't really want the bunnies to eat up all the carrots. However, as you'll see, we'll get a bunch of bunnies anyways. This sound makes me want to go to the toilet. We are also going to plant an apple tree because we will need Guess what? A bunch of apples. We already have some bunny comb visitors, which are admittedly not horses, but they are bunnies. And as you can see, the fence works wonders against Professor Pester. However, I have to tell you that a different garden, he is completely silent and he never leaves and it's awesome. Here I get super annoyed at his grunting noises, so later on we will have a secret weapon against him. Like I said in the first episode where we created a farm, uh, the Captain Cutlass only prevents the ruffians from entering the garden and we're also going to buy a Dastardos Scarer. We're also going to dig the giant water gate for future US president scandals. As for our passive income, the bunnies are going to eat the carrots, um, foxes are going to eat the bunnies and we're also going to feed these toads poisonous uh, fruit and we can turn them into poisonous frogs and sell them for a little extra profit. One of the secret horses loves flowers, not just carrots, so we are going to create this awesome flower bed with uh, different stripy colors. We're also going to buy a mine and force some uh, Chinese factory workers to work in them, because some very special piñatas require stuff from the mines. And this is not part of the challenge, but I just deliver myself a profitable because it loves being around mines and eating dirt quite literally. And interestingly enough, we'll get not the first horse available, but actually the second one, the horse Tashio, that we also had in our previous episode on the farm. And already one of them turned because it ate a bunch of our carrots and also our apples. I'll name the male horse Horus. Nice. And the female one Hazel. To breed them we'll need a house first and foremost, so I'll just buy that from uh, this guy who has a hammer for a face. And look at that, it seems like the Horstachio home is based on a Romanian taxi. They can sleep in here whenever they like, and I don't often let them actually. I place some cactus and a bunch of uh, desert decorations around the home to make it seem like a little bit more uh, like Romania. I also place some uh, cobblestone path. Um, that's just for decoration and believe it or not professor pester manages to go around the fence I've never actually seen that happen people have been using this method for centuries and this is the first time this happened So I want a more foolproof method. So just like in real life when you have uh, home invaders I just released my rhinoceros and it yeeted professor pester up in the sky kind of like team rocket from Pokemon Sayonara or whatever they say I name this good boy Bastion. And I also bought him a couple of accessories to make him happy. I bought him a cowboy hat and a saddle because it's kind of like a bull. And technically it's also a horse because uh, they are both ungulates, the more you know. Now at this point we finally get the event for the Ponoki, the pony piñata. However, as you can see it's invisible and it also crashed my game. On the reload, however, we didn't lose much progress. This is how the Ponoki looks like. It's trapped behind bars, so we'll need to hire Bart, the Tinker, 
to turn these bars into candy, just like in real life. And you already have some ponokis in the garden because they smelled all the flowers and the carrots. And one of them already ate five carrots, so it became our resident. And don't worry, it doesn't have this goose shit color. It actually will go into this nice butter yellow. Now, unfortunately, the Ponokis and the Horstachios don't really like each other, so they start a fight literally every 30 seconds. So I have to cool them down with some water all the time. And I even trapped the Ponoki in a separate garden, gave him some flowers, but he literally broke out of his fence and started a fight straight away. Honestly, what a chad. I'm sure this infighting will not become a problem later. Now, to breed the horses, you'll need to give them a fake metal accessory. I'm not even kidding so they can feel prized or whatever. But I also gave Horace a cowboy hat and I gave Hazel a flower because um, she's a girl. You also need to call Bart to upgrade apples into toffee apples and radish into horseradish because just like in real life, horses need to eat horseradish and toffee apples to breed. The reason why we are doing all of this is because we need to get the Master Romance Reward for Horstachio which means you need to have seven horstachios in your garden. Now you can just call the huntress for this, but we're not gonna cheat. We're gonna breed every single one of these horses. Now in Viva Piñata to breed animals, you need to play this stupid little difficult minigame. Um, you need to collect hearts and uh, reach your pair. Since the last episode, I realized I could play this in first person. Not that it makes it any less difficult. We only need to collect three hearts in this case, and we have four lives. But later on, as we get more horstachios, we'll need to collect more hearts, we'll have less lives, down to 1 HP at the very end. And if we want this special wildcard piñata, we'll need to collect every single heart on the map and reach the goal before the time limit. I already managed to fumble my way through two games, so we have four horses, but we'll need two or three more. And uh, as you can see, the minigame got more difficult, we have less lives. And because we have more horstachios, there's more infighting. So from the previous episode, the Sour Bonbon that we tamed, you know the Sour Bonbon that kept making different piñatas fight, now it's the complete opposite and stops fights instead. Meanwhile in this stupid minigame I keep dying, when you are in first person all the leaves are in your face and sometimes you accidentally oh. press the no button and you exit out so you are forced to wait like 2 minutes to re-romance. But anyways, we got our 6th horse, meanwhile in the garden stupid Sidos let Ponoki out of its cage. Oh my god, he stopped them! And like I said, Bonboon actually stops fights now that he's not sour anymore, which is awesome. He actually stops like 9 out of 10 fights. Now after the first time, we could romance the horse star shields with just candies, but... You know, I asked Bart to come here and uh, change stuff, but he always runs the fuck away. I actually miscounted and we already had 7 horse star shields, so we got the master romance reward. But I'm thinking maybe we can get the wildcard piñata. In this final game, I really want to collect all the hearts, so I press myself. If you have at least 6 piñatas in Trouble in Paradise, and you collect all the hearts that are flashing on the screen, you get a wildcard piñata. A wildcard piñata has something weird about it, maybe it has antlers, maybe it has a weird tail, maybe it looks different, it's like a shiny Pokemon but doesn't actually suck. And it costs probably like 10 times as much as a normal piñata, so you can sell it for a large profit, which is awesome. Like I said, we have only one health at the top left, and it takes a baboon's ass to control this uh, stupid ass horse through the entire game. But I managed to get this really lucky run, just kidding. And I fumble my fingers and I accidentally press no on would you like to try again. So you exit out, and you cannot try again for about 2 minutes. But I press on, I exit out again and I'm just done dude. We already have the horse star shield master monster reward so I'm ready to convert all of our horse star shields into a different species. If you feed your horse star shield a white daisy and a black blackberry, it turns into none other than a zebra just like in real life. Except this zebra piñata is a zombug and it's purple and more purple. At this point I realized that it's Horstachio that starts all these fights, not Ponoki. And when you have 3 Horstachios and 4 Zombugs, you have all the fights in the entire world of WWE. So I converted all of our Horstachios into Zombugs, so there are no more fightings. 
and I figure I just get a horse star shield later on. We'll also plant a gem tree for our fourth and final horse species. And I also bought a Zombug side because I wanna really try to get the wildcard piñata, but uh, this time with the Zombugs, because maybe the map is easier. The Zombug site is this little Arabian tent thing where they can sleep at night. Now to breed the Zombugs, you need to feed them free orchid flowers and you also need to ask Bart to upgrade the blackberry into blackberry jam. Also the Zombugs need quite a lot of tall grass, I missed that, I thought it was short grass. So I start s spreading my seed again throughout the entire garden and finally we can breed them. This is how the map looks like. It looks easier than the Horse Star Shield map, but it's still really, really difficult. You thought Doom was hard? Well, think again, it's Viva Piñata. I literally spent 40 minutes here, so you will have to suffer with me, viewer. We need to collect 9 hearts, we only have 1 health, and I found more luck playing it in first person mode. And when you are in first person mode, the developers put these stupid fucking trees in the way so you can't see shit. So let's begin. Fucking leave!
Yes! Oh! I thought you were doing it on my card! We finally get our wild card Zumbug that I named Challenger because he was extremely difficult to get. Look, he has a little ball on his tail. Now, a normal Zumbug would sell for 3,700 chocolate coins, whereas Challenger sells for 37,000. And believe it or not, our fourth and final horse, the Cunicorn, shows itself. Chunicors like to eat the produce of the gem tree, which is literally just gems. Now if a chunicorn can chew diamonds, imagine what that mouth can do. But with that we finally have our final animal, the chunicorn in our garden. I was contemplating buying a chunicorn horn on our horse tachios and scamming all of you guys, but here we are. Our garden is finally complete. Just listen to the music and take it all in. Like, comment, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>